a movie. Those were some very realistic decapitations. Trust me. It had an uplifting message. Don't bang your girlfriend in the creepy graveyard. <laughs> All right, give me your wallet. A Canadian mugger? That's adorable. Better do what he says. Yeah, I don't think so, kid. Run! <laughs> Jesus, my son owns a rape whistle? Hey, are you running away, you chicken? Crap, I can't see nothing through this sock. <sighs> That's better. This guy is like the Special Olympics of crime. Don't make me shoot you, old man. <laughs> Change of plans, Pinhead. Hand over your wallet. Here, take it. And take my bus pass. It's still good for six days. Ooh, Velcro. Looks like we got us a real high roller. What a schnook. Fake gun. Sock on his head. This pants. Where's the professionalism? It's punks like this who give crime a bad name. You know, Jimmy, I've been a mugger, but I've never actually been muggered myself. It's nice to know how the other half lives. <laughs> Looks fun. Quit snooping, Ma. Peeking over your shoulder to see what you're doing is not snooping. Teresa Maria Falcone, is that a picture of you drinking a beer? No, it's um an app. It's an app to make it look like I'm drinking a beer. <gasps> and that's an app to make it look like I'm Frenching another girl while frat boys cheer us on. Teresa, why would you do something like that? You know how it is. After five beers, you're on autopilot. And flashing a policeman? That's autopilot, too? No, that was tequila. He was about 5'5", five five, dark clothes, wool sock on his head. Possibly from a right foot. Something like this? Relax, McCool. We took care of the mugger. You took care of him? Well then, James Danger McDougal, in the name of the Crown, I have no choice but to place you under arrest for murder. Not today, copper. Come on, Jimmy. <coughs> Ow. I didn't mean that kind of take care of. What's wrong with you? I meant we stopped the mugger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Don't hurt me, sockhead man. <laughs> it's funny, because he's traumatized. Great Gowan's ghost. Petey, you're clearly in shock from your encounter with the criminal element, which is odd considering you're descended from gangsters. Nonetheless, in my estimation, the best way to confront your fear is head on. I invite you to come with me on a police ride along. Won't it be dangerous? This is Saskatchewan. It'll be safer than picking daisies. Petey, get away from there. It could explode at any second. Whoever was behind the wheel likely pried the plates off before they fled the scene. Good eye, Petey. I also found this under the seat. Amphetamines. The driver was a willfully negligent speed freak. I'll do a rundown of the serial numbers and see if we can trace this hophead. Or you could just arrest that guy. It's not my fault. These long holes are killing me. I didn't mean to run over all those school children. School children? <laughs> Never mind. Cover your ears, Petey. I am about to do something most un-Canadian. Wait, we don't need to use unnecessary violence. Observe. Spectacular! Physics, it's nature's policeman. Come along, little trooper. For <laughs> Canada, where no one turns a blind eye to police brutality! Hey, McCool, you lost weight. Oh, what's wrong with your face? Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? What do you mean, junior cop? I signed up with the Provincial Internship Group of Law Enforcement Trainees. My only male heir is gonna be a frickin' piglet? Hey, just like Cousin Carlo. Good old Cousin Carlo. The crookedest cop in all the five boroughs. Hey, officer, stop that. <laughs> I just need a parent to sign this permission form. No son of mine's joining the Bacon Brigade. McCool said you might feel this way. McCool? It's bad enough he's got me on the straight and narrow. Now he's brainwashing my boy? You got all the mentor you need right here. What am I supposed to learn from you? Plenty. Robbery, extortion, pandering. I'm like a college of wise guy knowledge. Oh, for God's sake. Here you go, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. You're letting him join the pork patrol? What kind of parent are you? 
He's just being a rebellious teenager. At least he's not getting drunk like his wino sister. Hey! Shut up, Rummy. Well, I ain't living with no 5-0. Don't worry, I'll make it look like an accident. Gina, no garroting your brother. When did you stop being fun? I can't believe Petey's turning his back on our way of life. He's giving up pasta? No! He's rejecting my whole family heritage. I rejected mine, too, when I gutted my father like a goat. Yeah, but Gramps had it coming. I guess the wisdom of our ancestors is gonna die with me. Don't worry, Jimmy. If you die, I'll eat enough pasta for both of us. Out of the car! Oh, no! Not you guys again! I'll give you a head start, punk. Please! Don't hurt me! I'm new at this! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm pathetic. I can't mug anyone. I totally blew carjacking. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Come with me if you want to learn. Are you a Terminator? No, kid. I'm a learninator. Enough with the fucking rhymes, Jimmy. Who do you think you are, Mother Goose? All right, Benny, this will be your room. Wow. No one's ever been this nice to me. Thanks, Mr. Jimmy. This is nice, Jimmy. You're really giving back to the community. If Petey don't want my pearls of gangsterly wisdom, then I'll pass them on to Benny over there. Jimmy, I don't often throw around words like hero, so I won't. I'm just a simple man trying to make the world a worse place, one kid at a time. Grace, help me with my daughter's booze problem. That's good. Booze problem? Try raising a teenager with the power to turn water into wine. Oh, mama mia, bathtub was permanently stained purple. Jesus was a lush? It got so bad we had to put him in AAA. Ancient Alcoholics Anonymous. Didn't work. Little punk refused to acknowledge a higher power. No way, ma. I am the higher power. God, the ego on this kid. So what did you do? I took him down to the Dead Sea and said, you turn that into wine and drink every drop. He chugged it like a champ. Then he punched a centurion, trashed the temple, and ran off with a whore from Babylon. But he never got drunk again. Wow, the things they left out of the Bible. No kidding, like his brother Rusty. What? And I've said too much. <laughs> Sorry, Petey, I know paperwork is dull, but it's a big part of law enforcement. Oh, I love paperwork. In fact, I just solved some cold cases. Which ones? All of them. Sweet Da Vinci's inquest. You solved 27 years of cold cases? I can see how they baffle a less intelligent cop, but it's all in a day's work for junior officer <laughs> Petey McNugger. He's not with me. Teresa, we need to talk. Whoa, that is not mine. It is now. You are going to sit here and drink this until you learn the terrible things alcohol does to a person. Works for me. Cheers. That's it. Drink it up, Alki. After I'm through with you, you'll never want to look at liquor again. Hmm. Is this a Chianti? It's nice. You want some? Well, since it's already open. 
Did I ever tell you how Gina happened? Your father got home from stabbing Frederico the Fink. And let me tell you, <laughs> he wasn't through poking stuff. Make it stop, make it stop! If you're gonna hide out in Mexico, stay away from the senioritas. Before you know it, you'll have eight kids in a job cutting lawns in El Paso. What the hell is this now? It's my mule. McCool lent him to me for being a junior super cop. Congratulations. An ass for an ass. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Mr. Jimmy. Uh, who are you? Well, since you're so busy being super cop, I decided to mentor this wayward kid. I gotta take a dump. That Mr. Jimmy's such a great guy. You're lucky he's your dad. Listen, Bernie, is it? You probably think you're special to my dad, but he's using you, just like he used Cheech's Mexican stepkids to work his lawn care racket in El Paso. Papa Cheech, please don't go back to New York. Get back to work. So Mr. Jimmy's just using me? Why? To get back at me. And once he's done, he'll drop you right back in the gutter. Tell him not to bother. I can drop myself in the gutter. <laughs> Ma, you should not be driving. Shut up. I'm going to the store for wine. And breath mints, in case I get pulled over. Ma'am, have you been drinking? I'm fine. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ma'am, you're under arrest for drunk driving. What the hell are you doing? Sir, I have the situation under control. I need you to step back. I'm gonna step into your ass if you don't take off those bracelets. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it burns! You were warned, sir. Petey, you should be ashamed busting your own mother and father. I was just following procedure. You threatened an officer of the law. Do the crime, do the time, Pop. <laughs> what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> ah! Son of a Petey! <laughs> this is madness! Following the letter of the law is one thing, but pepper spraying your own father... Twice! ...is conduct unbecoming a piglet. You are so done playing CSI Regina. No, I'm not. Mom signed the permission form. I can be a piglet as long as I want. Permission revoked. Come on, Jimmy. Mama wants a cheeseburger. Sorry, Petey. I'll need your hat, uniform, and badge. And your mule. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is it just me, or is the house roomier? Holy crap! Benny friggin' robbed us! The kid learned good. <laughs> he even took the vent covers. I am so proud of that thieving, lying, low-down, dirty bastard. Too bad I gotta kill him. Benny stole my laptop! Benny stole all my shoes! Benny stole my Dora DVDs! What? I gotta abo espanol for when I deal with the cartels. Benny didn't take none of my stuff. My eight tracks and Thigh Master are right where I left them. Too bad you got me kicked off the force, or I'd totally catch him and get our stuff back. Don't even talk to me, Pepper Spray Patty. Fine. Enjoy sitting on your invisible couch watching invisible TV. What's he talking about? I don't see no invisible couch. What happened last night? Did I do this? No, but you did do this. Quit judging me! Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what kind of role model am I? I don't know, Ma. You tell me. <laughs> I can't believe Benny stole from me after I treated him like my own son. You treat your own son like crap. Well, there you go. I treated him better than my own son. We don't need Petey to find this clown. We'll do it our way. Where's Benny? Who? Where's Benny? What's a Benny? Where's Benny? Ah, sh Sorry, sister. Such language! Oh! <laughs>
You know, Jimmy, as nuns go, she was actually pretty uh, gentle. <laughs> hey, Petey, I decided to forgive you for pepper spraying me. Can't find Benny, huh? I'm out of leads on this one. I can't help you. I'm not a junior cop anymore. From what I heard, you were the best junior cop this town's ever seen. Where'd you hear that? Down at the station, when I was signing you back up for Piglet. Really? That's awesome! Wait a minute. You're not using me to get back at Benny, are you? Maybe a little. Well, good, because I want to bust that son of a bitch. But if we're going to do this, we do it my way. By the book. You got it. This is going to be great. Just you and me. It'll be like an 80s buddy cop movie. He's a hotshot mini cop with a mega mind. He's a retired wise guy who just wants his couch back. Chief, I ain't this kid's babysitter. No. You're his new partner. I'm too old for this shit. You, do it more by the book. You, do it less by the book. Jimmy Falcone, Petey Falcone, in Jimmy's Way. Petey's Law. Jimmy's Way. Petey's Law. Fine, Jimmy's Way. All right, we agree on a title. Now let's quit wasting time and catch this guy. Oh, God. This goddamn headache. Time to rub it in, huh? Well, go on. Tell your mother what an ass she made of herself. Actually, seeing you wasted was a real eye-opener. I can see how drinking too much can turn someone into a total loser. A total loser? Really? You mean it? Ma, I swear, no booze until I'm 19. 21. We're in Canada. It's 19 here. 18 if I go to Manitoba. In Quebec, it's like 12. You go have fun. But if a frat boy gives you a drink, make him take the first sip. Thanks, Ma. 12? Man, them French know how to live. I can't believe you tracked Benny down so fast. How'd you do it? Forensics? Informants? You hire a psychic? <laughs> no, I found him selling our stuff on Craigslist. Way to go, Columbo. And my outfit's essential to the plan, right? Because if not, you're grounded. You must be Ingmar and Brunhilde. Brunhilde? Yeah, you're grounded. Which one of you is Ingmar? Yeah, yeah, that's me. My wife and I are looking to buy an entire house full of stuff. I got a house full of stuff to sell. A lot of this stuff is tacky crap, so I'll give it to you cheap. Yeah. You agreed. Buy the book. Oh, right. Sorry, son. <gasps> Mr. Jimmy! <laughs> Ow! That hurt! Hey, I taught him that move. Pop, he's getting away. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, Petey, you're brilliant. It's just like that game with the mousetrap. What's it called? Oh. Mousetrap! Petey, no, do it by the book. Screw the book. This time, it's personal. Wasn't it always personal? Come on, take the shot. <laughs> I can't do it! Good for you, kid. He's a dumbass punk, but he don't deserve to die. You did the right thing. He could walk away from that. Maybe not. Pop, stay with me. Pop? Pop! We're not that different. Sure, I'll never be a crook, but... I'm still your son, Pop. Pop? Pop! Boo! Knock it off, Cheech. It ain't funny anymore. All right, Doc says I can go. That was some interesting police work, Jimmy. It was all Petey. And he would have brought Benny in if that plane hadn't somehow got to him first. So, McCool, you gonna give him his mule back? Yes, about that. Unfortunately, Petey won't be reinstated as a piglet. What? what? He was so good, he was making the other cops look bad. And that's my job. 
<laughs> no one laughed at work, either. That's okay. I think I've had enough of police work. And let's face it, cops don't earn shit. Saskatchewan, la 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 Only four weeks left of summer break. You can do this, Cookie. You can totally do this. Yo, Ma, we're out of pork rinds. So what? Get up off your butts and go buy some more. But we want to find out if this broad says yes to the dress. Y'all got anything more see-through? What a day. I'm running out of ways to look busy at work. Nice example, Jimmy. No wonder the kids laze around all day. Take it easy. Lazing around is what summer break is for. Now, how about some pork rinds for daddy? We ate them all. You kids bum around all day on my sofa, watching my TV, eating my pork rinds, and you can't even bother to tell your mother to go and buy more? That's it! You're all getting summer jobs! Hey, where'd they go? You! Get your resume together! <laughs> I can't get a job. I've been fired from everyone I've ever had. Welcome to the meat pit. Before you order, here's a video of where your hamburger came from. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Would you care for fries with your massacre? The only place I'm fit to work is in a science lab, or perhaps some sort of theoretical think tank. So, if you'll excuse me. Not so fast. You're coming with me, Steve No Jobs. Congratulations, Petey. You had the best and only application in our summer hiring spree. Agnes, bring Nemo around. You're going to be pointing out all the exciting Regina landmarks as our summer tour bus barker. Go put all them acting classes to work, kid. Teresa took the acting classes. Don't you know me at all? Whoopee! Summer's officially begun! You're a tour buff, McCool? Ah, uh, there's nothing like being regaled with Regina's tantalizing history in an open-top bus whilst the wind tickles your scalp. Welcome to showbiz, Petey! No stop, so here's a travel mug to pee in. <laughs> If you look to your left, you'll see one of Regina's most, um, prestigious grain elevators. Imagine the grain that's been elevated here. And this one is... red. Sexy. And now we will end with a dip in Regina's historical municipal outdoor pool. <laughs> that's the whole tour? Two grain elevators in a swimming pool? Look, everyone, there's a jellyfish in the pool. No, that's a tampon. So, how was the job hunt? Oh, it was, uh, brutal. Yeah, yeah, we had to fill out applications in, like, triplication. <laughs> Do I smell fake butter topping? Are those popcorn crumbs? Aha! Movie tickets. You weren't out looking for jobs. You were out seeing Paranormal Activity 10, same shit, different house. It was a scary documentary. That wasn't real, Teresa. You're such a sucker. Oh, there's tons of suckers out there who want to connect with the spirit world. Uh, here we go. Back in my Madam Scam Your days, I fleeced marks every which way from Sunday. I got an idea how we can make money off of that paranormal crap. Ew, no way I'm touching ghost poo. How are you not in summer school right now? I slip my homework in with Petey's. He does it without even noticing. Does anyone know how many pounds of grain one of these elevators can hold? Anyone? Would you keep it down? Thank you, sir. He was talking to you. Oh. I could say just about anything and it wouldn't matter. This park on your right is where a real Bigfoot was seen drunk, snacking on a number of small dogs. And uh, this wheat field is known as Area 55 huh? because a UFO crashed here back in the 50s. The aliens were buried, and the next year, the crop was blue. 
Next up, we're heading to Regina's most deadly deciduous, otherwise known as the Murder Tree. Ooh, can we have a picnic there? Sure, but it might make a picnic of you. <gasps> Sorry, folks, this tour is full, but there will be another one tomorrow. Wowzers, Petey's really turned the tour around. People actually care what my know-it-all kid has to say? We can finally crack open the I Heart Regina shirts and wear them without people laughing at us. Ah, ah, it's like being attacked by a thousand velvet brushes! Mademoiselle Konya, at your service. Oh, thank God. It started yesterday, just after your pamphlet conveniently appeared in our mailbox. Please, help us. Silence! Spirits, announce yourselves. <laughs> ah! Ah! The spirit is really pissed about something you did in your past. Oh, God. Is this about the elderly man I ran over in college and blamed on my boyfriend who then committed suicide in prison? Uh, yes. And it'll be 300 bucks to bust this ghost. Double it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I meant 600. Great news, everyone. This has all been a terrible dream. Regina tourism numbers are through the roof thanks to the initiative of one particular employee. Premier O'Shea has commissioned yours truly to announce a promotion for the aforementioned go-getter. I owe it all to the Executive Success Self-Awareness Rodeo at Lake Waskasu. Introducing the new staff supervisor of Regina Tourism, Petey McDougal! Huh? Petey? I knew I should have signed up for the self-esteem booster derby! Stupid Toby! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Now that you're running the office, Petey, you may want some help running the tours. Bell! Someone with a deep passion for Regina history and 96 vacation days saved up. Hint, hint. No, no! I'm still running the tours. I wouldn't want you exposing my lies. I mean, wasting your time. You might be my boss, but you're not the boss of me. <laughs> oh, look! It's time for me to avoid confrontation. <laughs> Agnes, you ready for another bus tour? Look at you! Rising to the top of Regina tourism. For once, my pride in you outweighs my shame. Thanks, but the other employees seem a bit disgruntled. Could you smooth things over for me? Sure thing. And you know what's great about you being my boss? I don't have to call in sick no more. I can just shout from the couch. <laughs> You're funny. Thanks, Pop. Who's joking? Yo, Topes, I know my family taking over the business comes as a shock. Very perceptive, Percepticon. Give the kid a chance, will ya? You were once the guy on top. It's not his fault you blew it. Well, now that I'm not the boss anymore, I guess I can finally let my hair down. Schnapps, it's Peach. To Petey. Whatever. Look at all this money. I can finally buy myself a unicorn. Those things are extremely rare. You ain't buying nothing. We gotta keep Ma in the dark about this or she'll try and horn in. So keep your yap shut. I won't say nothing, as long as you cut me in. The only thing I'll be cutting is your tongue out. Oh, cookie. All right, fine, but you better pull your weight. I'm already carrying one useless moron on this caper. Yeah! Oh, cookie. I said all right, what are you doing? Nothing. It's time for my bed. Petey! We were just talking about your best son, who's my boss I ever had. <laughs> Is this what you meant by getting Toby on my side? You're drunk! You're drunk! <laughs> it smells like peaches, beans, and insubordination in here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Pow! <laughs> I'm writing you both up for drinking on the job. That's an Article 48. And breaking wind in front of a superior. That is a 22. 
We were just toasting to celebrate your promotion. Tell it to the naughty corner, McDougal. I ain't sitting in no naughty corner. And since when do we have a naughty corner? Shut it. Things better change around here or the staff will. <sighs> Agnes, I just article 26 in your purse. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pop, but I had to make an example of someone. You humiliated me in front of everybody. Go to your room. You're grounded. You can't ground me. I'm your boss. At work, you're the boss. At home, I'm the boss. Oh, yeah? Well, just you wait till we get to work tomorrow. Yeah? You just wait till we get home from work tomorrow. Which will be around midnight because you'll be working late. Boost. I'm already paying for myself. Ow. You can make scarier noises than that. You sound like Pop putting on his shoes. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Go on. Bring back our little butterball. <laughs> Easy. You're going to pull my arm off. This is ruining my hair. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing in here? I got scared out there alone. I hear this house is haunted. Just back out so we can start the scam. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, I'm calling the psychic. Happy birthday, former subordinate. Jesus, that thing's more fireball than cake. How old are you? What's this? A an office birthday party? Why wasn't I invited? I like cake. I like singing. You know what? Regina tourism includes everyone in birthday celebrations. Everyone or no one. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. I gotta live with him. That must be about as fun as a chapped ass on a long bike ride. Let me tell you something about Boss Man. He once created an app named Roxy to call his phone every day so people would think he had a girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Mr. Big Shot's too good for blow-up dolls. And get this, he still sleeps with plastic sheets. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped wetting the bed in my 20s. Oh, it gets better. Whenever he watches scary movies, he has to sleep in our bed. <laughs> You're fired! What? Oh, hey, Roxy. Now's not a good time. Can I call you back, babe? <laughs> <laughs> We're out of pork rinds. So go to the store and get some. But I want to see if she says yes to the dress. The dad's a cheapo and I think he's about to have a stroke. Huh? There he goes. What a day. Someone pooped in my desk. Guess I owe Toby five bucks. Can you turn on the news, please? And get your feet off the couch. But my big fat Alaskan gypsy lumberjack wedding is on next. When you work all day, you can watch whatever moronic show you want. That's not fair! Petey, for Christ's sake, just hire your father back! Why would I hire a guy who thinks the photocopier is an ass camera? Yeah, well, I wouldn't go back even if you paid me. And by the way, I'm still getting paid. Of course you are. It's a Canadian government job. How do you drink this stuff? Where's Mademoiselle Kanya? I left her a message hours ago. I'm calling again. I told you we shouldn't have left our phones in the car. The last thing we need is you texting some meathead boy toy while we're working. Don't be stupid. Big Mike can't read. Ah, oh, I'm starving. Help! Get us out of here! Shut up! 
Why should he? Aside from losing a little weight, there's no plus side to being trapped in here. Help! Help! Old houses have so much character. If these walls could talk... Well, they're talking now, Dan! Happy! You hear that? <clears throat> you had your freaking phone the whole time? I was saving the battery for selfies. Quick, the battery's dying. Who are you calling? I'm calling Ma to come and get us. Crook, before you do anything, bring us a jumbo cheese and answer me. Agnes, I need us to pull together as a team, okay? There is no I in team. But you can spell me with part of it and Ta with the other part. Great news, Petey. Premier O'Shea wants the tours bumped up to 12 a day. What? I suppose this means a few Regina After Dark tours. Sounds positively tantalizing. For Canada! We're lusting over a moonlit grain elevator is about to become a thing! Is he kidding? You guys are really gonna have to pull up your socks. Wait! Where are you going? To the liquor store to pull up her socks, you dick! Jeez, kid, you look terrible. Don't start. I'm not in the mood. Look, I'm not saying this as a disgruntled former employee that you totally screwed over. I'm saying this as your pop. You gotta quit. I can't. I just can't. Sure you can. You walk into your own office, you drop a deuce on the desk, and you strut out like a man. What's so hot about- Because I lied! I made up fake Regina history, so the tour would be more exciting. You bullcrap the whole thing? I'm impressed. If my lies are exposed, I'll be a laughing stock. I'm just gonna have to run the tour for the rest of my life. You're being a little dramatic. I'm glad to see them acting lessons paid off. That was Teresa! <sighs> Goodbye Ivy League PhD scholarship, hello basement apartment and TV dinners in my dirty underwear. That reminds me, where's Cheech? Look. I'm proud of you, son. You rose to the top on lies, and you'll do anything to protect a scam. Just like a true falcon. But... no, <sighs> oh, poor kid. Seriously, though, where the hell's Cheech? Where the hell's everybody? Ah, oh, yes. The spirits are present, and they are... Stolen! Poor things don't know they crossed over. Probably died because they cut the wrong person out of a job. Can you get rid of them? Yes. But you must leave this place, so I have a clear channel with the little shits. I mean spirits. You know, I should leave you three up there to rot for not cutting me in on this. It was them, Cook. I begged. I pleaded. But they wouldn't have you. Nice impression of Pop, you rat. I've been running spirit scams longer than all of you. Fine, sorry. Now get us out of here and we'll give you... 30%! 70! 50! Have a nice afterlife! Wait! Don't go! 80% we got a deal! Deal! Cheech! Get ready to cross over to the other side! <laughs> you hit Cheech in the face! Rumor has it... <gasps> Ooh, that's where the wheat pirates buried their treasure before sailing back to Alberta. What is it, Pop? Too bad the bus didn't start, huh, son? You're welcome. What are you talking about? I cut the starter cable so you wouldn't have to do the tour. No bus, no tour. Bingo, bango, you're off the hook. I'm driving the bus right now with a bunch of tourists. In fact, I just drove through a red light. Pop, you cut the brake line. Well, I cut something and would appreciate a thank you. I can't stop, I can't stop. That's the floor where they shot Titanic. Gordon Leifert gotta hop it on that bed. That silence full of candy. There's a bunch of zombies in that house. Ooh, zombies. You're headed right for the lake! It's okay, Pop. This is an amphibious bus. I don't know what that means. It's a bus and a boat. <laughs> yeah, right. Kid? Better
better than the boss. Ah! Oh my god! Zombies! <sighs> so hungry. Best tour ever! I suppose the lesson here is that one should never lie to get ahead in a work situation. Nah, the lesson is you should always have a fall guy to blame in case you get caught. No, it's that you should never cut your mother out of a good scam. Would you guys shut up? We can't hear the TV. Pick a fucking dress already. They're all the same. This dress is so tight. Can you help me take it off? Oh! Ah! What the hell are we watching? Say yes, oh God, yes, yes to the dress. I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but it's so beautiful. La 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 I know what's going on in there, and it sure ain't clean! Your son's in there, pile driving his crotch into a coma. Bust the door down! Why would you want to see that? Oh, oh my god! Pull him up! He must have fainted from shame! <laughs> what the hell? Between you and me, jerk Cousteau, that is not how you masturbate. So what the heck is an Ocean Lab 6? It's a three-month undersea education program I was accepted to, but it's prohibitively expensive. I was underwater so no one would see my tears. When it comes to my kids, there's no such thing as prohibitionally expensive. How much we talking? Whoa, yeah, that ain't happening. I've never had to say this in my life, but I can't afford that. Nice going. Now your father's drowning his sorrows in hot sauce, you selfish little prick. Leave him alone. It's not his fault I'm a worker day schmuck who can't afford underwater nerd school. <sighs> on top of that, I went and ruined my breakfast. I can help with one of them problems. I used to make this for Don Gambini. The man was a notorious overspicer. He'd cover his cannelloni in pepper flakes, and then he'd piss and moan about how hot it was. And when he pissed and moaned, chefs lost their thumbs. Holy crap, these taste like eggs again. The spice is gone. Like I said behind the Don's back, you're welcome, you whiny bitch. I think you got the solution to your money problem right there. Cookie's right. We could use this to extort every Indian restaurant in town. Pay up, or the Vindaloo gets it. Haven't you idiots figured out there's legal ways to make a buck? Course not. Luckily, I have. Now, let's go take the spice out of life. I thought your family could afford Ocean Lab. Teresa's always got so much expensive clothes and jewelry. She gets those from men I'm not supposed to tell my parents about. My family's taking me camping this weekend to cheer me up. Hey, do you want to come along? Maybe we could comfort each other in our time of mutual disappointment? I literally have no experience in this area, so I'm just gonna ask. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> no, silly. Why would I do that? What are you even talking about? Yes! Well then, I'd love to go camping. In fact, I've already pitched my tent. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpion's Hive, the publicly funded show that provides investment opportunities for private venture capitalists. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Oh no, I overspiced my food. It's burning a hole in my tongue. Jimmy, you're supposed to be at work. Agnes, get back to the office quick. What if someone needs a map? Hey, lady, them spices hot enough? For you? My name is Neutralizer, and I'm here to say I'm gonna take all the spice from your spices away. Spice it, yeah. Spice it down. Oh, God, stop it. <laughs> Ming 
sounds right. Just tell us about the product so we can rip your new one. It's spice neutralizer. You sprinkle it on overly spicy food and it kills the heat, but not the taste. Who's your target market? Munja cake white people who can't handle a little pepper. What are your sass, Digger? Hey, wasn't I married to you once? You look terrible, Cheech. Oh, man, I walk out on you. You bad man. What's your business plan? To make a crap ton of money and send my kid to space. I import knockoff yoga pants, Belgium video game, and spices. I'm out. Bad idea. As an Irish Canadian, I wasn't even aware food could be spicy. I'm out. I like this idea, but I don't want to invest in it. I prefer to license it from you. What's that mean? It means I do all the work, assume all the risk, pay you half the profits, and you do nothing. You've always wanted to do nothing, Jimmy. Hold out for less than nothing. Are you serious, Pop? You got the money? Yep. Looks like you are going to be sleeping with the fishes. I know you didn't mean that the usual way, but I still peed my pants a little. What am I going to tell Anna? She invited me camping so we could forget our Ocean Lab disappointment. Could you just enjoy something for once? What she don't know won't hurt her. Howdy, sir. I'm Ron, Anna's dad. This is my wife, Bathsheba. I hope you're up for a rollicking kick-in-the-pants adventure in the wilds of Saskatchewan, Petey. <laughs> And don't worry, I'll see there's no hanky or panky between these kids. We'll keep things as chaste and pure as our Lord Jesus. I'd say have fun, but that's clearly off the table. Bathsheba, stop staring at the man like a harlot. Okay, let's hit the road. Thanks for coming, Petey. I need at least eight inches between you two back here. Move your keister over, son. Let's pass the time with music. Oh, we're going to the mansion on the Happy Day Express. And the letters on the engine are J-E-S-U-S. <laughs> what do you mean you lost the spice neutralizer recipe? Wheatin's gonna be here any minute. Just write it down again. I would, but I can't remember it. I only got so much room up here. I can't rememberize the whole recipe and the names of all the hobbits. Ah, crap, that's Wheatin. Maybe it's in my other pants. You don't have other pants. Okay, okay. I'll scratch other pants off the list. But that is a lot of zeros. Let's count them again. One. Two. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were stalling me for some reason. He's on to us. Forget it! Okay, look. Cheech lost the formula. We'll find it. We just need time. But I've already bought factories and hired sweatshop workers. Spice Neutralizer launches next week. I'm having several Spice Girls neutralized to mark the occasion. Touch Ginger and I'll cut ya! You have till Monday to produce that formula. Otherwise, I'll have to sue you for misrepresentation. Sorry, Jimmy. It's nothing personal, just business. You can't say that! That's my people saying! How does he do that? Cheech. If you don't remember that formula, Wheatin's gonna take us for everything we got. I got this, Jimmy. Trust me. Do you mean trust me, trust me, or f you trust me? The nice one. Cheech didn't lose it. Someone stole it. And I bet it was that Ming broad from Scorpion's Hive. That's classy. Blame the Asian. It's got nothing to do with being Asian! And everything to do with being Cheech's ex-wife. How much more motive does she need? She's right. You know what they say. Hell hath no flurry like a woman's corns. Are we still in Canada? I don't see this campground anywhere on the map. If you're not on the map, the government can't find you and forcibly re-educate you with the lies of the Antichrist. I see. I'm just gonna retire to my tent for the rest of the weekend. Oh, we don't use tents. We're sleeping in old Archie Bunker here. Do me a favor, son. Take that bag of automatic weapons from the roof rack inside. <laughs> you don't mind if I call you son, do you? We're facing Armageddon together. That makes us family. Uh, what? I'll go set up a perimeter. Oh, darn, I forgot the razor wire. Oh, well, we'll have to rely on prayers and homemade frag mines to keep Satan away. Anna, I'm trying very hard not to freak out, but have I been kidnapped? Sorry. <laughs> Every few months, Mom and Dad drag me out here to wait for the end times. I couldn't face another rapture fail without someone rational to talk to. 
So you picked me? Oh, that's just great. Wait, you think I'm rational? That's the hottest thing a girl's ever said to me. Petey, you're downright logical. Ah. And don't worry about my family. They're nutty, but harmless. Petey, the Bible says it's an abomination for a man to lie with another man, so you can't sleep with me in the men's quarters. <laughs> Thankfully, it says nothing about black market assault rifles. <laughs> anyway, you'll be bunking with Anna. What a friend we have in Jesus! All right. Me and Jimmy will muscle that formula away from Ming. You gals go home and sync up your cycles. We're not sending two goons in to intimidate a small boned lady. It needs a woman's touch. <laughs> Give me the formula, toots, or I'll rip your freaking lips off. Jesus, Ma! What the hell, big crazy beast talking about? I'm talking Russian roulette with an automatic. Unless you start singing. Oh, Ma! Where the hell you been all my life? The formula's got to be stashed around here someplace. She comes from a very crafty culture. Isn't that a little racist, Cheech? Talk to me when you've spent three weeks in a Chinese finger trap. Oh, God! That's strong! I feel like I've been maced. Nah, mace feels worse than this. See? Oh, damn it, Cheech! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to illustrate a point. Ow! <laughs> oh, my eyes! Still not as bad as Mace, but... Oh! Finish up those K-rations, kids. They'll keep for 600 years, but they do get stale. How's that filtered urine, Petey? Ha! Someone just volunteered for first watch tonight. Petey, if anyone tries to get in, shoot first and beg the Lord's forgiveness later. <laughs> That's a joke. You won't need forgiveness for slaughtering whatever unholy abomination comes knocking. Oops, forgot the urine filter. I know this isn't what you expected, Petey, but once Mom and Dad go to sleep, maybe we can... Have a fumbling session of heavy commiserating about Ocean Lab? Very heavy. And very fumbling. Oh, God, you talk so sexy. Oh, there's plenty more inexperienced innuendo where that came from. Oh no! You shot the urine filter! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, O'Shea did it! That leprechaun always whines about not making enough money from the TV show. All right, thanks, Ming. Sorry I pointed a gun at your head. Oh, that's nothing compared to Canadian immigration. Oh! Oh! Teresa did it! That's just great. Now she's suing us, too. Way to go, Cheech. How is this in any way my fault? Going on that crazy TV show was Cookie's idea. Don't blame me, you sack of shit. Guys, guys, calm down. We all know this is Petey's fault. No, it's Ma and Pops for having a brainiac for a son. Yeah, if he was a moron like the rest of us, this would have never happened. I screw you guys. I'm gonna go talk to O'Shea myself. Unlike you idiots, I know how to get things done. You're supposed to blow up the other guy's car, is to get things done. I'm telling you, Mokul, O'Shea's behind this. Are you suggesting the Premier is embroiled in some sort of spice neutralizer conspiracy? That's preposterous. So you're not gonna help us? Au contraire, Jimmy. I'll see this through to the end. My first step, spending nine hours on hold with your government-sponsored insurance company. For Canada, where no-fault liability means everyone gets screwed equally. The jig's up, O'Shea. We know about your problems with Scorpion's Hive. How'd you find out? Let's just say... Ming told us. She knows? After she swore I didn't talk in my sleep? You slept with my wife? Ah, we only cuddled. <gasps> with me penis in her. Son of a bitch! Who gives a sh**? You were married three days! I've only had this shirt three days. I still don't want him sticking his dick in it. 
Now give us what we want, O'Shea. Security, get in here. I've got some trash to take out. Oh, right, I'll crack a window. There's something I should tell you. My pop got enough money together to send me to Ocean Lab. <gasps> I thought we were sharing our mutual sorrows. But you were just practicing holding your breath. It's not like that, Anna. I just didn't know how to tell you. Dad warned me about privileged rich boys who try to take advantage of innocent girls. Try? No. Did? Yes. <laughs> but I like you, Anna. Yay! It's finally the apocalypse! That or it's a roving band of liberals seeking to feast on our Bibles and unborn babies. Don't be afraid to kill anyone, Petey. The Bible says it's okay more often than not. Play the numbers, son. Always play the numbers. You were right, Dad! Oh, Lord! Forgive me for tongue-kissing this heretic! <laughs> Wake up! Uh, I thought I told you girls to stay home. Aren't you glad we don't listen to you very often? Teresa followed O'Shea! He's meeting with Bias! Come on! Whoa! One more step and I get a free coffee! Everything's coming up, Cheech! I'll have to see the money before I can commit to anything, you cheap, sleazy bastards. Oh, that's where my flashlight went. Not so fast, O'Shea! You're too late, you jackasses! It's done! You can't sell stolen property! <laughs> oh, God, listen to me. Yeah, right. <laughs> and violence never sold anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting weird. The deal's off. Now oh, look what you did! You blew me chances! Screw you, O'Shea! That spice neutralizer recipe belongs to us. What the hell are you talking about, you giant bloody festering tit? I was about to sign a deal with a rival network for my own investment show, Piranha Creek. I thought you was trying to extort me. For what? If Scorpion's Hive found out about Piranha Creek before I jump ship, they'd gnaw the flesh off the deal's meaty bones. Wait, which one of you is the piranha? It's Canadian television, Jimmy. We all are. Oh, Christ. Now I'm stuck on that low-paying show. Hey, would you look at that? Look at that indeed. Tabby's mom is looking pretty fine. How do you like that, Petey? The Gupta family here was under the impression the age of Kali Yuga was ending. That's the Hindu apocalypse. Between you and me, these kooks put the mental in fundamental. Everyone knows the end of times is a Christian Armageddon. Sorry about the gunshot wound, Mr. Gupta. That's the thing with timeshare apocalypse bunkers. <laughs> They're affordable, but the scheduling's a pain in the rump. <laughs> I'll go take down the perimeter. I'm glad no one stepped on a frag mine. That could have been very messy. <laughs> Lucky I'm good at digging mass graves. Please, God, tell me that was a joke. It won't be one day. Anna, listen, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about Ocean Lab. And I'm sorry I called you a heretic. So, will I see you at school? No. Mom saw us making out, and now she wants to send me away until the baby comes. What? I know. But guess where they're sending me? I'm okay! A mine went off! Arm seems to be gone! If I pass out before we reach the hospital, be sure to refuse a transfusion! <laughs> Going somewhere, Toby? Ah! Ah! You've come for vengeance! Make it quick! Not the face! Open casket! Who's gonna rub mother's feet? Calm down! Pull yourself together! Thank you, Jimmy. I deserve that. A and probably that, too. Now you're just doing it for fun! Stop it, Jimmy! It's my turn! Ow! You Ow! stole my Ow! formula, didn't you? Yes. At the TV studio. I knew Jimmy would quit Regina Tourism once he got rich. 
<laughs> I couldn't face work without my best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Who? Me? But I had a change of heart and left the recipe in your car. Mom insisted on coming with me. It was too late to put out the fire, so I grabbed Mom, stopped, dropped, and rolled her, and we took off. But you saved the recipe, right? No, it went up with your car. Ah, great, I'm screwed. Thanks a lot, you stupid son of a bitch. Lucky it's easy to remember. Baking soda, flour, vanilla extract, and... A dash of cumin. I don't know why that was so hard to remember, Cheech. Oh, yeah? Go on, ask me. Which one's Frodo? I have your brand new SUV courtesy of Saskatchewan Government Insurance. <gasps> Canada's worst driver. I must have left it in gear. Put on a pot of coffee, Cookie. I'm going back on hold. Yo, Cook, I got Petey on Skype. I hate it here. I've been seasick for three weeks. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. McDougal. I'll take care of him. I hope you kids are being good down there under the sea. Well, Mrs. McDougal, I won't lie to you. Ah, getting screwed in a submarine. It's like he's in the Navy for real. La 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 la